Whoa there, calm the fuck down, Mary. You look like you want to crack a skull at the end of this episode. So this episode of Hunter was just purely build up, but I was liking where it was going for the, like pretty much the most part of this episode. Like you see at the start of that Morel with like releasing like one of his Nen abilities, like Deep Purple, I believe, which is kind of like a reconnaissance, like intelligence sort of Nen ability that he's using around the area, and he actually meets up again with Chitu, and Chitu's there like looking all cocky and notice that the um little annoying little doll thing the APR is gone and you know he's like wondering oh they got someone on their team that is can actually get rid of um, Nen and we found out later in the episode that it was indeed one of Leo's group members um I don't think I, I think her name was Hina because there was Hina and Flutters if I remember Hina's for what it looks like what we saw in this episode it seems that she can take Nen abilities or curses and eats and consumes them like for some reason like that's kind of the weird thing to do, but it was like, I guess that's one way to de deal with it. And you see that as well, that Chitu has finally got his, like, his abilities, and he's just going to go all out. And you just see, like, um, he just uh, punches him, and he goes, tag, you're it. And creates, like, this uh, his own sort of space or dimension. And basically, you have to play by his rules, where you've got eight hours to catch him. And if not, he doesn't even know. And I just love Morel. He just it, uh, like analyzes the area, saying, "Oh, it's about the size of a baseball field." And he's like, "Well, wake me up and find that." Which is just so snoozing. It's like, um, you got eight, eight hours, mate. I mean, yeah, that's a lot. But you don't want to say, "Ah, oh, that it isn't free. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it." Uh, they remind you, you've got gone, knuckle, shoot, nov, killer out there, and also the chairman out there now about to fight the king and all them and you motherfucker are going against like a squadron leader fucking snoozing it's like well i better catch some z's i couldn't do anything about it it's like what a bitch like <laughs> well, well i'll see if it was me i'd be doing the same position as well i wouldn't want to go anywhere near the king so i'll just sleep it through but you see throughout the episode with the king you see that he is playing um, the game Gungi with the girl. I think from what I heard, her name is Kamugi. So with her, it's like you're playing just um, Gungi. And it turns out that she's actually blind. And she's pretty stupid as well. Like You see like um, he's there trying to learn the game. And he's like telling the bitch, yo, shut up. And he's like, I I I'm trying to read this. And he's like, if you, say it, if you say a word, I'll kill you. And I'm like, are you serious? And she's actually stupid enough to hold her breath and stuff. Which she can't do because she's like... She can't breathe to it well. You see her when she's playing the game that she's a fucking master. She's owning the king. The only person to own the king is this bl little blind girl. And he's just like, yo, what the fuck's going on? And he's saying, like, my. I think that the reason why the king's doing this is to develop strategies. Like, he's trying to think, like, oh, if I could think like a master, like, Gungi player, chess player, he wants to show that he wants to be better than anyone else in the world. And now that this girl's come here, it's proven that you may be like one of the most powerful threats we've ever had, but you are not as smart as a little girl with snot bottles coming out of her. And at the end of this episode, he looked like he wanted to grab that table and just fucking smack it over her head and just start beating her to living death with it. But I don't think the king would do that, which I'm surprised, since he doesn't seem like he would let rage um, take over him. But overall, like, this episode ended with just, um, Miriam just wanting to crack a skull, actually, which, um, I've been wanting to see him do for a long while, but please don't do it to a little blind girl, Miriam. I mean, I know you're a ruthless leader, but you don't want to do that to a girl. Like, overall, this episode was just build up, uh, it got me excited for some things. It was cool to see, uh, Miriam as well. Chitu is, like, one of my favorite of them, all the, uh, squadron leaders. So I'm looking forward to this um, next week. The preview look really good though for next week, and hearing that the manga is coming back as well is tempting to read the manga. Um, I think it's coming back in December, from what my friend said uh, in his video. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, that the manga is coming back. That's great news. But um, let me know what you think in the comments section below. What do you think of Preggers? Um, you know, what do you think of like Morel taking a fucking nap on the job and Mary and getting his ass only by a snot of no, his little girl? Um, but that's all for me. I want to thank them. Much watching member Strat Evan Santa. I'll see you guys.